Sean, say what's up. Howdy. This is Sean. His name's Worker. Roger. Worker 253970. Yep. Anyway, <laughs> we are going to be doing a Starlight Headliner in a GMC Denali. How many lights is this thing getting? 350, 350 lights in this Starlight. Small kit. Small kit. Yeah, it's a small kit. Usually we do upper echelons of like 700, 750. Uh, we did a thousand once. That sucked, but this is only getting 350. So uh, we're gonna start by taking everything out or taking the headliner out. So we have to take that off, take the the visors off, the dome light, the oh shit bars I like to call them. So uh, let's get started on that. Right. All right, so we got everything unbolted. All the old shit bars are undone. This is basically off. You just gotta pull it off. The dome light is off. Um, so basically, oh. to take off a headliner in a Denali, I don't know exact what year it is. I'll ask later. But you have to go to every o, uh, o shit bar. I don't know what they're called. I just call them o shit bars. But you no gotta shit go. Bars. Yeah. Oh, no shit bars. Yeah. That's so you go to every single one that's in the truck. Uh, there's a tab there. You just get like a pick. You pick the tab off, and they're uh, 10 millimeter. All of them are 10 millim uh, millimeters. And then uh, after that, you have these little tabs in the back. You can't really see it. Hold on. Let me just the lighting here. Basically, we're telling you about those back things. Don't let the bolt fall in there. Really, no right there. Down. Those tabs right there. Uh, there's two on each side. You take those out, but whenever you take them out, be very careful because, like he said, uh, if they fall, they fall all the way down to basically the, the floorboard, and you'll have a great time fishing those out. And then you take the mirror off. That's pretty easy. You just take off the plastic cover that's on it, and then there's one star head screw that, uh, that holds it up. You take that off, and then there's another one in where that holds up the visor. There's another star head on each side you got to take off, and basically... You take this off and it's basically off. So we're gonna pull this headliner out and um, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with it. Daddy Forgot Joe to mention. Um, oh, yeah. well, let me get the light real quick. So if you look up there, um, you can't really see it, but there is a bolt or a screw that goes right up in there somewhere you can't really tell but there's two of them there's one on that side and there's one on the, the passenger closest side so you gotta take those out to take the center piece out and uh, the rest of it once you take those two bolts out it's just hung on by clips so you just then you can just pull it down uh, just make sure you pull it down evenly because if you don't you might end up breaking it and that's not a cheap part to replace no, no. so yeah not cheap same thing with the back dome you kinda just Grab e uh, either end, get your fingers in there pretty well so nothing bends, and then you just pull it out evenly so you don't have to, you know, replace expensive parts. But now. What we're talking about here, bro, there's a whole lot of horsepower. I don't know what the hell is he talking about. You add, you add two of these to your car, you get an extra 10 horsepower. Sure. Um, True statement. I guess. <laughs> True statement. <laughs> All right, so headliner's ready to come out. Just waiting on Boss Man. He's doing some other stuff. All right, so we're about to lay the fabric on the Denali headliner. I'm recording on my phone because I forgot my camera at home. So, uh, all right, horrible. Um, the fabric we use is uh, like a suede material because it really complements the, the lights. So um, we're gonna we're gonna put this on and then uh, start poking holes, and we'll show you guys how to how exactly we do that. So. Uh, Stay tuned. All right, so the headliner's laid. We're poking holes now. We have to individ uh, individually place 350 lights. Uh, we drill holes and then we uh, we get a, a marker and we dot everything. So we gotta do that 350 times. So we'll be back when we're done. All right, we got all 350 holes poked and and put in. I said poke, uh, poked. Poked. And uh, now we kind of just have to go through everything and uh, make sure everything kind of like looks like symmetrical. No, not, that's not the word, but like filled in. So like, as you can see, this area right here, this whole area right here has no lights. 
So I have to uh, pull some out that are clo uh, too close to each other and fill up the holes. I got to put a few here and here. And uh, yeah, just kind of, we got to uh, have to do that. Kind of go through everything, make sure everything is uh, evenly spaced out and there's no uh, open spaces anywhere. So we're going to spend time doing that. And after that, after we uh, space everything out and, you know, double check everything, make sure everything is, is spaced out and everything is filled in, we get hot glue, this hot glue gun. And we have to single-handedly glue every single fiber so it doesn't pull out because, um, you know, if somebody has kids or whatever, you don't want them pulling it or pushing it back up or whatever. So that keeps it in place. So we got to do that, and um, that'll be basically it for it. And then after messing with the top here, we got to go under and then cut all these to about six, six to eight inches in length. And then after we do that, we uh, put it in the truck. And then once it's in the truck, we uh, clip them to where it's kind of flush with the headliner so it looks, you know, gives it that star look. So we're, uh, we're gonna get started with that. All right. So the headliner is done. It's inside the truck. Can't even see it, Jesus. Because it's on red. Put it on a different color. There we go. As you can see, it's all in there. Let's open all the doors up. Now this is only about 350 lights. You can get a lot more. And with those 350 lights, I mean, it's on a red color right now, so you can't really tell. But um, 350 lights for most trucks is uh, it's pretty standard, but definitely, would need more because this is kind of a bigger a bigger cab but 350 lights does it does it pretty well but um that's gonna be all for today's video uh hope you guys enjoyed uh if you guys want to see more of these videos then uh, uh like i get like the video i guess and uh comment that you guys want to see more videos he has a beating stick dude this thing is bad <laughs> fucking bone dude this would hurt <laughs> You can blind him before you boom bam out of nowhere <laughs> he's aggressive dude that thing is that <laughs> this is cool <clears throat> by the way we also did a lot more stuff to this truck um we uh polished the wheels these wheels were really oxidized and we also put a ceramic coat and for those of you who don't know what a ceramic coat is is basically a, a, a protectant for the paint that makes it makes water and dirt and stuff like that not stick to the paint as you can see oh the jesus aperture is as you can see water beads up on it but uh we did that as well did headliner and the wheels so this truck basically got like a a revamp so that's gonna be brand it new. for yep brand new that's gonna be it for today's video Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later.